Thank you, uh, uh, Madam Chairman. You know, history offers us an inexhaustible supply of grievances and injustices that are powerful enough to stoke hatreds and resentments that can tear any society apart. That's what this bill is all about. It is evil in its effect, if not in its intent. This is not reparations for those responsible for slavery, uh, paid to those who were enslaved. This bill contemplates something radically different. Holding people of one age responsible for the ills of another based not on their conduct, but on their race. Lincoln often pointed out that, that our country was born into a world where slavery was an established institution. The American founders reviled it, and they placed principles in our founding documents that they were confident would ultimately place that evil institution upon the course of ultimate extinction and would ultimately produce a republic where men and women of every race and every background could together enjoy the blessings of liberty. Equal justice under law means a colorblind society where race simply becomes irrelevant. And until recently, we have been making tremendous progress toward that vision as a nation. Now, it's true that very damaging and unwise policies have disproportionately impacted black communities. Uh, Union-dominated schools that have utterly failed to educate the children of the inner cities. Welfare programs that have made fathers irrelevant. The withdrawal of police protection from inner city neighborhoods, these are certainly among them. But these policies devastate every community where they're practiced, and the answer is to change those policies, not to excuse them because they're ideologically pleasing to the left. This bill addresses none of these current ills. It instead attempts to set neighbor against neighbor and American against American solely on the basis of their race. You say this is healing. It is precisely the opposite. The biased composition of this commission lays its intent bare for all to see. It's designed to reach into the dead past, revive its conflicts, and then reintroduce them into our age. I think all Americans of goodwill, regardless of their race, have had enough of this nonsense. So please stop. It's tearing our country apart. I yield back.